All right, Daddy Jack's Cold Water Blues here. I'll show you what we got here. My friend Mike Tyler, look at this. Brought us four of these. We ate two the other night. Uh, some beauties. I just steamed them up and they've been chilling. They've been chilling for uh, a day or so in the fridge. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make lobster spaghetti. So uh, turn this bad boy on. I'm gonna try to attempt this pretty much as, as, as quick as uh, I get the pasta going. This, this is, should be ready. As soon as the pasta is cooked. DiCecco, really the only pasta I'm using these days. Um, I have bigger pots, but you know what? I kind of like cooking it this way. And uh, just show you at home that you don't need all that big, fancy, heavy duty stuff. And uh, I want to make I want to make some extra here because I want some of this left over the next day. So. That's some beautiful garlic, some fresh. So, uh, Hunt, Huntsbrook Farms. This is super fresh. Beautiful. So, cut the ends off. Does not get any better than this. Nothing against, you know, foreign garlic, you know, like you see it coming from everywhere. India and China and everywhere but the United States. So you gotta go right right to these local farms. They're beautiful. You know what, so what, even so what if there's a little skin on it. Save that for your stock. So here's what we're gonna do. We don't want that much heat on it. We're gonna slow cook this. So we're gonna do like they did in the, uh, Godfather or wise guy, uh, the, uh, I don't know. I should have brought my razor blade out. <laughs> well, I was still gonna give it a little chop, though. We don't want big, big clunkers in there. Okay. Give this a quick uh, pass to make sure it doesn't stick. Okay. Tomatoes right out of the garden. So we want to get these in pretty quick into the skillet because we don't want the garlic to uh, burn up. I could have put a little bit of onion in there, but I didn't. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a fast one right here. Try to get all the juice up you can. Yeah, now we're gonna fire the heat up on it. All right. So then, uh. Take this Mac Daddy Lobster, Mike Tyler to Jeanette T. Fisheries. He's, he has the best, I'm telling you. We had two the other night. It was incredible. Mm 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. Right, Lakeisha? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh my God. Did it get any better than that? No. No? No. What's that piece I used to trade? I always trade my sister Heidi for uh, my claws and that piece there for, I mean, the, my tail and that piece there for. Uh, for the claws. That's my deal. See how you do these here? Okay, you just pull it, push it out, comes out. That's the uh, the tamale, the green part. My, my ex-partner down in Dallas, Kenny Bowers, he loved it. He loved the tamale. Sense of delicacy. Oh, well, thank you. No thanks. Okay, we don't. Uh, we just got our. Uh, we got our containers. We're selling them four ounce containers of. I'll show you later. I'll we'll put a little bit of our blackened seasoning in. That really covers all bases, really. And, uh, man, I gotta have the knuckle in there. I gotta have the knuckle. This is my favorite piece. Careful with this one, but I'm, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Let me see. There's only one way to get that. Don't give up on it. Woo! I'm gonna give up on it. <laughs> That's it. Hey, one more. One more claw. We got time. That's really why I need a bigger knife. That's where the knife is six inch that doesn't cut it. So, uh, that's it, we're gonna chop this up nicely. Okay. I'll save those for you, Lakeisha. Alrighty. Watch out, Axel. Please, buddy. Underfoot. I let them lick the pot when we were all done with uh, our lobsters the other night. All right. A little more olive oil. Okay. Maybe a little touch more pepper. Hey, buddy. Sit. You get one piece right now. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, man. Sorry, Axel. You had to take one for the team. Oh, boy. What's the matter with you? Okay. Right on his head. Jeez. <laughs> Lobster going in. I'm just going to do a little bit of lemon in it. Kind of stop from cooking. We're just going to reduce that down, let that lobster get real hot. And we're going to clean up just here a little bit. Slow simmer that up. All right, look at this. Not going to waste anything. We're going to get. 
okay? We're just going to tidy up. Turn the fire down a little bit. We'll be right back. All righty. I got, I distracted Axe a little bit. I threw him some of that leftover, you know, the tamale and just, you know, I felt bad. We kind of <laughs> made him the fool a little bit and throwing that on his head. He's really pretty smart, smarter than that. But look, I'm going to put a good amount of butter. Okay. Finish this off. Parmesan or no Parmesan, Lakeisha? Um, just a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Yeah, see, my, my buddy uh, Dominic, my friend Dominic, they used to run Daddy Jack's in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. His brother Paul, they're a great Italian family, great cooks. He said that when he cooked a pound of pasta, he used almost a half a pound of, uh, of uh, butter, you know, in his, in his, uh, in his pasta. I agree. Well, there's nothing nothing makes it more unctuous. Have you ever heard that word? Unctuous? How do you spell it? Uh, don't ask me that. <laughs> U-N-C-T-I-O-U-S, maybe? Mm. Who knows? Yeah, that's probably, yeah. Thank you. You're a better speller than I am anyway. True, sure. true. I usually have to refer to you, you know. Mm -hmm. Ask you when I stumble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, that's it. Look at that. Look huge. How's that look? Let's see. Ooh. Right. Okay, I'm gonna dish up. Oh. Let's see. Oh, that was a big smooth move, wasn't it? gonna move over to the table we'll be right back Axel come here come here buddy oh lobster head <laughs> huh huh mm -hmm. you're a good boy yeah you're, you're a good boy yeah yeah you get some of this hey guys come with the blues we'll be right back oh gray beard huh my boy's gonna be what seven when October uh, October? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No better than Axel. Old yeah. dome head. But anyway, so that's the Daddy Jack's. Uh, we wanted to call it. We, we asked them to name it Blackened Seasonings. Mm -hmm. Blackened Seasonings. This is a, a blackened uh, recipe that I've used forever. Good on chicken, pork, uh, beef, wild game, fish, vegetables. It's good for everything. It's an all-purpose seasoning. My grandmother would be proud because she put paprika into everything. And so out of transparency, I did put a little bit on top here just for a little bit of color. Let's so give it a shot. Oh, baby. See how it makes the, uh, the butter makes the pasta glisten. Mm-hmm. That lobster is really nice. We didn't overcook it. Mm. Try it one more. My opinion, could use a little more uh, seasoning, salt. We didn't salt the water in the pasta. I don't like to I don't like to throw anything down the drain. That's why I don't that's why I don't salt it. I let the uh, let the let the sauce uh, soak up the flavor and then you know season the sauce properly and your pasta is going to be seasoned. I get so much hassle about people that salt water and what else they put in it? Uh, oil it goes right down the drain. 
Mm-hmm. That little extra seasoning made a big difference. And uh, out of transparency, don't worry about Lakeisha because she's already been snacking over there between <laughs> takes. It's but, so good. I really but, taste the, the lemon flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Really, the way to have gone would have been to... Uh, you utilize that lemon peel. You know, mm -hmm. so many times we just make sure you wash your lemons first because um, sometimes you get a mold, you know, you get one moldy lemon in a box, uh, you know, a whole box of lemons. Uh, just then, you know, you got, uh, they're in warehouses with uh, the diesel fumes, the diesel dust, you know, gets over, you know, your food and your cans and your bottles. You should always wash, uh, you know, wash the bottles off, the cans of your fruit, your vegetables. But, uh, you know, I, I saw one uh, Italian recipe, they, they take the peels and they dry them. And they can, then you can grate them, you know, into a pasta dish and add so much flavor. Just um, don't, don't throw that stuff out. It's all, it's all to utilize, you know, able to utilize. But Lakeisha, I can't help it. I, I know you say I, I eat too many, uh, eat too much at the end here. Mmm. Mm. Mike Tyler and your family. Emma just moved back to uh, Boston, and she, you know he, she was a big help, big hand to Mike. You know it's uh, you, you know whenever you lose a you know your, your family members move on and they get jobs and careers, you know. And I'm blessed, that, you know, my daughters are still close, and you know just having family close. It's uh, yeah. You smell it. He smells it when it's ready. <laughs> it is Daddy Jack Cooking with the Blues here. Uh, check us out on Patreon.com, Cooking with the Blues. Uh, you can pledge anywhere from a dollar a month on up. Um, we'd appreciate it. We do like some uh, live, you know, live uh, streaming. We're doing some Q&A sessions on Zoom. Um, you know, trying to give back a little bit extra to our uh, pa Patreon members. And God bless you all, and uh, eat eat fresh, cook healthy, and uh, your family's going to love you for it even more. Peace. Mm -hmm. Luke and Helen, I'm a few days late. Rachel had told me, you know, to give you a shout out. <laughs> Baby Primrose, what a beauty. Uh, she is so cute. I wish uh, you know you you come over here sometime and uh, love to meet you all and uh, God bless and stay safe and uh, you got a beautiful baby and Primrose you got some beautiful parents peace.